sunny day at Ragnall Electric Bikes. Over there you might be able to see some ducklings chasing a plum. Sun's out, car's charging nicely. In the workshop we have sarcastic comments and the leaf up in the air again. Now, why this time? Because we've made a white box, not a black box. And what does this thing do? Well, one end plugs into the harness coming out of the leaf, the data connector. The other end plugs into the leaf battery's data connector. In the middle here, we have very nicely made Raspberry Pi with the PiCan 2 Duo hat on it. Um, little power supply and some relays. So this, this thing here gets its power to run the Pi from, from the leaf. It talks on the CAN network. Well, actually this one doesn't generally talk, but it's on the CAN network with two CAN transceivers. And it's got these monitoring relays on the lines that control the relays to the leaf battery. So, why? Well, in other applications, the leaf battery is being spoken to by other people's computers. And we've actually been commissioned to listen to some of these and find out what they're saying. Because some people aren't very happy with the way that they are talking. So yeah, this is a commission. This, this guy is off over to the States to, to do that for someone. We can also, because that's a Pi and it's got the CAN stuff, we can run our other software that we've developed so we can control the battery. We can listen to, we, well, we can request data and get the status of the battery, the voltages of each of the individual cells, all of that, and then make decisions, um, make algorithmic decisions to connect or disconnect the relays within the battery. But for an example of what it's doing at the moment, it's listening. And so if a relay goes on or off, there we go, on or off. So this is the sequence where it connects the battery in. Um, so you end up with the two main relays on and the pre-charge off. Then we've got battery overall voltage, state of health, capacity, charge and then voltages of each of the cells all the way across there. So that is a very cool little box. We're quite happy with what we've made and we hope our clients are happy with it also. So yeah, we're going a bit professional here at Ragnar Electric Bikes. Who would have thought it, starting from just sticking motors onto bikes. <laughs>